Matit Yahoo chapter 20. For the reign of the heavens is like a man, a householder, who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the workers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace and said to them, You two go into the vineyard and whatever is right, I shall give you. And they went and having gone out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, he did likewise. And about the eleventh hour, having gone out, he found others standing idle and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? And they said to him, Because no one hired us. And he said to them, You too go into the vineyard, and whatever is right you shall receive. And when evening came, the master of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last to the first. And when those came who were hired about the eleventh hour, they each received a denarius. And when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but they too received each a silver piece. And when they received it, they grumbled against the householder, saying, These last have worked only one hour, and you made them equal to us, who have borne the burden in the heat of the day. But he answering said to one of them, Friend, I do you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take yours and go. But I wish to give to this last man as also to you. Is it not right for me to do what I wish with my own? Or is your eye evil because I am good? Thus the last shall be first and the first last. For many are called, but few are chosen. And Yahushua going up to Yahushalayim took the twelve taught ones aside on the way and said to them, See, we are going up to Yahushalayim, and the son of Adam shall be delivered up to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and deliver him to the nations to mock and to flog and to impale, and the third day he shall be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zabdeh came to him with her sons, bowing down and making a request of him. And he said to her, What do you wish? And she said to him, Command that these two sons of mine might sit, one on your right hand and the other on the left in your reign. But Yahushua answering said, You do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink and to be immersed with the immersion that I am immersed with? They said to him, We are able. And he said to them, You shall indeed drink my cup and you shall be immersed with the immersion that I am immersed with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. But it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were displeased at the two brothers. But Yahushua called them near and said, You know that the rules of the nations are masters over them, and those who are great exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you, let him be your servant. Even as the son of Adam did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And as they were leaving Yeroho, a large crowd followed him and see two blind men sitting by the way, having heard that Yahushua was passing by, cried out, saying, Have compassion on us, O master, son of Dawid. And the crowd rebuked them that they should be silent. But they cried out all the more, saying, Have compassion on us, O master, son of Dawid. And Yahushua stopped and called them and said, What do you wish me to do for you? And they said to him, Master, that our eyes be open. And having been moved with compassion, Yahushua touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him.